For First Community Conversation, we're joined by Dr. Natalie Kane Wisdom, a breast radiologist with UVA Health. She's sitting down with Aaron. Thank you, Steve, and Dr. Kane Wisdom, thanks for coming in today. Happy to be here. Thanks for coming in. We're glad to have you here, and especially during October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're talking about, you know, breast, breast screenings and why it's important for women to get those screenings. So let's start with that question. How important are regular screenings in reducing a woman's risk for breast cancer? Um, yeah, so um, regular breast cancer screening is extremely important because our goal is to prevent um, early death from breast cancer. And I did want to mention here that um, as a breast radiologist, I see patients of all genders and identities. So it's really, it's a great and important conversation to mention that um, breast cancer screening uh, pertains to really anyone who has native breast tissue. So that is, um, you know, women or even trans, transgender males um, who have not had top surgery. Um, so just a few examples of that. Um, and so consistent regular screening is um, very important because it allows us to see small changes uh, in the breast and detect cancer er earlier on at an earlier stage. So essentially this means that uh, there's more potential for um, um, easier treatment and cure, as well as less likelihood of having more aggressive treatments such as a mastectomy and mm -hmm. chemotherapy. And all those okay, things. so the earlier the screening, the better. Got it. Yes. And when should women start getting screened and how often should they get screened? So women should start um, getting screened for breast cancer um, at the age of 40 and then annually thereafter. And this is a recommendation that's agreed upon by experts in the field, including us as breast imagers, um, breast surgeons and oncologists. Very nice. And what screening options are available at UVA Health and UVA Cancer Center? So UVA Health um, and UVA Cancer Center, uh, we offer a wide variety of um, screening options, both comprehensive and advanced modalities. So what we do um, for our screening patients is we have 3D uh, mammography with tomosynthesis, which really allows us to scroll through the breast tissue and um, be able to detect really small, subtle changes that otherwise a 2D mammogram might miss. Um, and we're able to do this all with a lower um, radiation doses too. Um, we also offer supplemental screening breast ultrasound um, and advanced techniques such as breast MRI and contrast enhanced mammogram. And I did want to mention that we're involved in a few um, national screening um, studies right now that are ongoing. One is the CMIST trial, which is comparing contrast enhanced mammogram with um, digital tomosynthesis um, in the detection of breast cancer. Wow, so it's, it's fascinating to see all of the advancements that have been made toward breast cancer screening just in you know, the past few years. So that's, mm -hmm. that's encouraging. Few decades, yeah. Yeah, very encouraging. And what factors should women consider when choosing the right screening option for them? So fundamentally, um, all individuals should consider um, annual screening mammogram. Now, um, dense breast tissue is something that is, um, so is very serious to us because it can mask uh, cancer, essentially. Um, it's really difficult to see very small cancers when a woman has dense breast tissue. Um, so in that regard, it's important to talk to your doctor if you receive a letter that your breast tissue is dense to discuss the other options available. Um, other factors to consider include um, things that will put a patient at a higher risk for developing breast cancer in their life. So that involves um, strong family history of breast cancer in a first degree relative, um, potential family member or personal um, genetic mutation that is known like the BRCA gene and, and a variety of other genes that are known to be associated with breast cancer. Got it, very, very, um, lots of important information there. So thank you so much, Dr. Kane Wisdom. Thanks for coming in today. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Yes, we appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. So thank you so much. Steve